Hey guys, I finished it. Um, this is definitely one of my biggest builds in a while, and I do believe I may be a first on this one. Um, but essentially, this is a stopwatch for Minecraft. It's fairly simplistic, uses very few pistons, like three of them just for a couple of timing issues, and is sub-second. It is one-tenth of a second or two Minecraft ticks. Uh, it may be possible to do a one tick one, but not without a whole lot of trickery. So basically, if I go from the start and the stop here, you're going to see eight tenths of a second. Um, this is, uh, there's, you do have to do a reset between the runs. Uh, and I do only have the minute incrementer, so that's tenths of a second, seconds, minutes. Uh, obviously this can go to 99 minutes uh, once I add the extra digit, but really you could continue to add digits as much as you want. Um, you'll see a bar across the bottom. That basically means that the clock is running, and when the clock is running, you're going to see that the tenths of a second just says 8. And basically that's because it is actually running through all of the digits, but the, uh, the uh, redstone lamps simply can't handle the updates fast enough. So uh, th when the light goes out, that digit will change to what it's going to be. If I stop, you'll see the light go out, and it's nine-tenths of a second. Um, part of the reason for that is, one, that you know the clock is running, and two, that you can tell the difference between it's eight-tenths of a second and it's still thinking about it. So that was uh, 20, uh, 20 seconds and 20.9 seconds. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset that again. I'm going to start the clock here, uh, note the time, and uh, regardless of, of what the, the display is saying, um, it's when you push the button. So there is some lag to what the display is saying. Now you'd say, well, clock, that's pretty normal. But what isn't, hasn't been done is the sub subsecond, or in this case, tenth of a second. Um, past the second time, there's the pulse for the once a second, you've got a pretty rudimentary clock, nothing special, nothing new here. Where what we have over here is here's the magic is the uh, one tenth of a second. You can watch watch it run through each of the the poles, and when it stops, it it stops. Um, <clears throat> and what this is is a bank of ten T flip flops with the on bank um, flipping. Let's see here. Where is this here? Um, the on bank of this one, so when this is flipped to the on or the one position, it also comes back and flips off the previous bit, and it continues around. Now that doesn't prevent two bits from being on at the same time, but that really should not happen with this design, um, unless there's a bug. But, uh, so there it is, and basically this means that down to two ticks, you can tell when this this was flipped off, and once it, it it starts, it comes in here, creates a little thing, and, and uh, you know, there's all the, 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 the details of, of how this works, and ignore that little chunk back here, but this is my, uh, um, I guess, pulse shortener, and then, so that's uh, the start, the stop, and the reset coming down the line, and um, this little bit over here controls whether it's run in, in a running state or not. But, um, Again, I think this is the first tenth of a second clock inside of Minecraft, and it looks like I've taken about two minutes to do that little discussion. Well, to be precise, two minutes, six second, six point eight seconds. Um, yeah, you you can have some fun with this um, little service engine, such as basically ignore this. This is just junk. You get the buttons coming down here. I'm going to post this uh, file up for review. Um, I'm not going to bother explaining it simply because it's a lot easier just to import this into your existing world. Um, I may or may not do the post. I'll probably update it later with the final digit. Um, and basically, I've got one digit there, one digit there, and I'm going to put the other digit right here. Um, and again, you can add more digits as you see fit. You could even add a day counter if you wanted. Um, you would have to do um, have to do some interesting. You'd have to roll 
the 24 into a single bank or do some trickery there. But there it is. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, tell me what you think. Seriously, I want to know. Um, am I full of crap? Has somebody else done a tenth of a second counter before? Um, if not, uh, well, have fun. Uh, thanks everyone, and enjoy your night while it uh, starts raining.